Welcome back everybody to the video. So before we get started, definitely check out two links in the description. One of them is a free Discord server with more than 10,000 people. Definitely check it out. We talk about options, stocks. It's one of the biggest financial servers on the Discord platform. On top of that, you guys should definitely check out Webull. Click on the link, make a brokerage account, deposit $100, and you get two free stocks. It's free money right there. So definitely get yourself some Chick-fil-A. Anyway, Tesla stock today is absolutely crazy. Like usually, a lot of people say after a stock split, the stock goes down because a lot of people just want to sell their shares and just leave. Honestly, that's exactly what Tesla did. It went from like plus 0.77% all the way down to negative 0.4% and 0.7%. Around that region, people were a little bit freaked out, a little bit nervous. Everyone thought that Tesla was about a dump, but Tesla actually went up a little bit. It went down a little bit, which is very worrisome, and then it shot up to 3%. And this is when people know the retail traders might have just came in. Eventually started going up to $486. It went down and hopefully you bought the dip and now it's plus 12%. Tesla is literally about to hit $500. Now market cap is almost $450 billion. It's about to be a half a trillion dollar company and this is in the automobile industry. If you check out what everyone else is saying, it's honestly insane. Tesla, Apple stock splits have actually sent stocks to a record high. Do you know why? In my opinion, especially last night, I talked about it. Since the stock split is happening, you have more people buying shares because it's cheaper. Not every retail consumer can blow $2,000 on one Tesla stock, but they can spend $400, $500 on one Tesla stock. Now it's cheaper. You got more people coming in, and I can pretty much guarantee you the amount of newcomers buying Tesla stock have absolutely skyrocketed today. Apple, same thing, $500, now it's $125. It's now super affordable for a lot of people. And right now, if you check out Elon Musk, he is now richer than Mark Zuckerberg after a simple stock split. Keep in mind that nothing has fundamentally changed about Tesla. It's not like Tesla just came out with like a Tesla transformer or like a Tesla spaceship. It's just the same old Tesla that you always notice. But the reason why it went up so much was because of this insane stock split that actually gives more flexibility to retail consumers. On top of that, you have a very, very, you know, you know, active options market. Usually the options market for Tesla is kind of dead because you're spending about 10000 $8,000 on one single call. Now you only have to spend about a few hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars for one call that's out of the money. So it's way affordable. When it's way more affordable, you have way more people being assigned shares. When more people being assigned shares, they buy in. On top of that, remember the $20 billion short bet? Well, the majority of people could be actually covering their positions today, which means they have to buy back them shares to actually close their short puts and pretty much that would drive the stock price up. So the shorts are covering themselves, buying back the stock, which get the stock going up. And remember, when the stock is going up, there is a, there is a ton of fear of missing out. With so many people fear of missing out, they will actually start buying into Tesla. When they buy into Tesla, stock goes up more, more of the short guys cover their position by buying back the company, and the stock just keeps on going and going. On top of that, Tesla, fundamentally speaking, with all their different insane features, they're a really, really good car company. In fact, I can't even say they're a car company anymore. They're more of a software company than anything else. The ecosystem for Tesla is insane. Remember, Apple being a $2.2 trillion company isn't because they make smartphones or laptops. Yeah, they make those things, but so do a lot of other companies. But the reason why Apple sets itself different from other competitors is because of the software aspect. Apple is doing banking, augmented reality. They're doing these AirPods. They have a very, very good OS network, and the ecosystem is really good. Same thing with Tesla. Tesla didn't become a half a trillion dollar company because they make cars. A lot of people make cars, and their valuations are way lower. It's because of the ecosystem, and they have software. They come out of the ride-hailing app. You know, they have this autopilot going on. They even have driver's insurance that Elon is thinking about implementing. You get the ideas. These are some really insane things to add in. On top of that, over the weekend, you have a lot of people saying how there's an analyst saying Tesla will be hitting $7,000 by 2024. And keep in mind, 
this is absolutely insane. Like I have never seen anything like this before and this is really crazy. Keep in mind that this is most likely will be the pre-split option. So a lot of people, including ARK Invest is saying, Tesla should be worth way more than $400 billion. It should be worth about $1.2 trillion, maybe even $1.5 trillion. I feel like this may seem a little far-fetched, but remember, if you're only thinking Tesla as an automobile company, then the stock will not go up. In fact, the stock will go down because Tesla is doing robo-taxis. Literally, their cars will drive by themselves on the road. Lyft and Uber are extremely big industries. The ride-hailing app, this is insane. It's killing off taxis and it's giving a lot of flexibility to people who want to make some extra cash. And so far, pretty much Tesla is coming out with their own ride-hailing network. And also, if you have a Tesla Model X, for example, you could register it as a robo-taxi you drive this to your work, and instead of parking your car in the parking lot like all the other gasoline cars out there and collecting dust, you could tell your vehicle to go out and work. Your vehicle will go out, pick up passengers, and people will go into the car so nobody in it and will drive from point A to point B. Keep in mind the majority of these transactions and distances will be happening in major metropolitan areas. So it's not like going from like Louisville to Cincinnati or you're not going like a hundred miles at a time. It's gonna be like a few miles here and here and there, maybe going from like the bar to a home or from a home to school, things like that. So it's very simple. It's honestly really cool. People are a little bit freaked out about autonomous driving, but I feel like ever since the pandemic, a lot of people really want to have that social distancing. So having a fully autonomous vehicle may be extremely appealing. On top of that, because your car is in a robo-taxi network that most likely will be coming out late 2020 or 2021, depending on the regulatory reasons, we may see Tesla coming out with their own set of driver's insurance. So not only are they making money from the transactions of the robo-taxis, but they're making money from driver's insurance. And just think about it. If you're telling me I could buy a luxury vehicle like Tesla that doesn't actually depreciate that fast compared to Mercedes and BMW, and you're telling me my depreciating asset can make me money, that sounds pretty good. And by the way, it may sound kind of crazy, but some people even say like, if you get a Tesla Model 3, for example, the value of the car may go up if there is robo taxis. Here's the reason why. So there's not that many Model 3s being made. If you go to like the Tesla official website and buy cars that are already made and built, those cars are more expensive and those cars are usually sold out. You generally speaking have to order your vehicles and it takes a few days, even a few months to get to you depending on how long the vehicle has been in the market. So if you get the vehicle first and there's robo taxis, that car may actually go up in value. That sounds kind of crazy, but it may actually go up in value for a limited amount of time. So you might be seeing a lot of people trying to flip Tesla cars. Keep in mind that Tesla is now a luxury brand. I could say the reason why it's so expensive and the reason why the price is justified among so many analysts is because, ding, 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 it's a software company more than an automobile business. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Just the few minutes I was talking, Tesla stock is about to hit $500. Absolutely insane. And by the way, the person who got the most attendees is going to be Elon Musk. That's about it. Thanks for watching.